One of the songs on this recording that really sticks with me is the opening title cut, Every Knee Shall Bow, which was written by one of our old members from New Generation, who not only was a singer, but he's also a musician. And I've had the song in my possession for at least three years before recording it. And I wanted to wait till the proper time and the right album to put this particular song on. So right now, uh, I think this song is doing well for this particular recording, and I'm sure that the public will enjoy it.
song Worked It Out, which is the title cut of the album, was written by a young brother in the city of Florida, and they sent me the song. When I heard it, I was just over, overwhelmed with it. And God led me to a scripture in the Bible where Romans 8 and 28 says, For we know that all things work together for the good of them that love Him and are the called according to His purpose. While I'm trying to figure it out, I had to know that God was already working it out.
The song Through It All is a classic. Um, I remember the song from a little boy. I and my mother were riding in the car one day. I was driving her from the doctor. She was very ill. The doctors could not tell us what was wrong with her. And I began to pray in the car, and the Spirit of the Lord came in my car. And he said, trust in the Lord with all of thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge God and he shall direct your path. And when he spoke that in my spirit and that scripture came to me, the song came to me and it just sang clearly in my ear, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. And from that point, oh man, it was, it was an anointing that let me know that God was definitely going to heal my mother. And as of today, my mother is healed. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Questions for tomorrow. There's been times I didn't know right from wrong, but in each and every situation God gave blessed consolation that my trials only come to make me strong Yeah. Mm -hmm.
the Holy Ghost is in this place. And I got to give him some praise. After all the stuff you've been through, how dare you sit there and be cute? How dare you sit there and be important? How dare you sit there and look all wonderful? If God had not done it for you, it wouldn't be in a night. In His Name, oh man, In His Name is one of the baddest songs I have ever heard in my life. In His Name uh, was given to me by two writers from the city of Chicago, and when I heard this song, I said, man, this song is so fat. <laughs> this song is the bomb. When they got the drum machine under it and the percussions came with it, and the, oh man, the band hit that song. We just have fun with this song. And truly, when we sing this song, you'll see how much energy and how much fun the choir and myself are having with it. Anybody who will sing this song will have as much fun as we have with it.
I was studying in the scriptures about a special day called a day of atonement in which the high priest would go into the most holy place to make a sacrifice before the Lord for the sins of the world. And he would take an animal and spread his blood on the Ark of the Covenant, the mercy seat, as a sacrifice for the sins of the world. You and I couldn't go into the most holy place, only the high priest. And God looked down and said, this is not working, um, for the blood of goats and bullocks would not wash away sin. And I thought about it as we went on into the New Testament, when Jesus came down and gave his life after he redeemed us and shed his blood, now are we the high priest and we can go into the most holy place and we no longer have to worry about the old laws and, and various things that we had to go to as a punishment for the sin that we would commit. Just because Christ paid it all, now are we high priests and we are now able to go into the most holy place. Jesus, he did, he paid it all. Nothing 
Jesus paid it all. How many of you know that he paid it all for you? He paid the price for you just so that you might live today. Ladies and gentlemen, Kimber Ray. The song, The Good Shepherd, it was written by my good friend, Donald Lawrence, who gave me this tune. And when I heard it, I, I, was, I was blown by it because it has a good message. It has a good sound uh, musically. It gives you a, a, a section where it breaks off into various parts. And each section is doing its own thing. And it's a fun song. And um, I'm sure that many choirs will be able to sing this particular tune. It's not a difficult tune, and I'm sure they'll enjoy doing it. It's called The Good Shepherd.
The song, Who Can I Run To, it was recorded uh, back in the 70s by a female R&B group called the Jones Girls. We took the tune and turned it into a gospel tune. It's a fun tune also. Uh, the soloist on this tune is very, very interesting. She has a voice. She reminds me of Leotine Price sometimes. She has a great head voice and she has a great chest voice. And uh, she did this song very, very much justice and I'm very pleased with it. I wanted this song to really minister to a crossover audience uh, that was used to hearing R&B. They were talking about a man, but we're talking about the real man. And his name is Jesus. Who can I run to?
Listen, tell me who When the devil comes after you With all kinds of temptation Lift up your heads, O ye gates, is taken from a biblical scripture which says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Then he says, Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. And this is to any person who's going through hard times situations that may not seem like they're going to turn out the way you'd like them to. God is standing by to bring you out of every storm. It's not over until God has the last word. And everything that you go through, you better understand there is a person who can rescue and that's Jesus Christ.
song Now Faith is truly a song of ministry. Uh, when I learned this song, it touched me. I've learned how to walk by faith. I've learned how to live by faith. I've learned that to just live by faith. I've learned without faith, it is impossible to please God. So many people have been saying to me, you never sing a ballad, you never sing anything slow, you're always singing something fast and screaming and hollering. <laughs> so what I did is when this song was given to me, I said, I'm gonna do this one. And uh, to all of those who was waiting for me to do a ballad, this one's for you. Now, Faith. You know, the, the Lord has brought me a long way. Some of y'all tried to put y'all foot on me, but I'm still here. <laughs> Through it all, I'm still here. I've learned to trust in the Lord. Through every storm. Hallelujah. Somebody just give God praise in here. He's here. When you learn to send up your praise, God makes miracles happen for you. God opens up doors for you when you praise Him. Learn how to bless the Lord in trials and tribulation. Because without faith it is impossible to please Him. And the just live by faith. Hallelujah. I want the choir to help me say. I want you to know 
the night you can you can conquer Give God a prayer. 